Yeah. Casa Corner. <clears throat> All right. So we've got my bad. Oh, hold on. Before you go. This is also the first gossip corner where she has not said anything to me about any of these headlines. So this is like legit reaction. I want to apologize ahead of time if I say something stupid. <laughs> All right. So according to Wrestling Observer Live, this is Brian Alvarez. Hey, the boy. OG along with Meltzer. Yes. His partner in crime. Cool. That at Mania 36 is going to be Bailey versus Naomi. Now to couple Sweet. that pause. Now to couple that with a rumor I just found out about, like before we started this podcast, also slated to be in Tampa is Brodus Clay and Cameron. So they think that this might be a reunion for the Funkodactyls, and uh, yeah. I should have told her. She should have told me before the show. I, I I'm about to lose that. I was my mind. So, I was so upset. I was like, why would you do this? We we, we want to go forward in Calm life. Down. Not Calm backwards. down. As far as I know, both of them people don't even wrestle no more. Cameron so just does. Relax. Cameron still works. Yeah, she she started acting, Um, and then she's been teasing That's getting back into acting. the wrestling ring. So. Mm. Hello, darkness, my friend. <laughs> That's how I, I feel right now. Stop. That's how I feel right now. Oh, God. I feel okay. bad. Yeah. Oh, God. Please if, don't do that. If you can't tell, we are not fans of this. Don't uh, do that. This just angle. leave it alone. Please. That that part of her history can be like, just they left can, in they, the back. They can come out and, and like, do the glow thong. Maybe like they'll whatever. dance if she wins. But, uh, maybe they'll dance when she wins the title. Maybe, but that's it. I maybe that's want, about it. I don't want that's all I want from it. Come out there, give us a little throwback dance, maybe. Even though I don't yeah. know what the hell we need, bro. This we don't. And Karen. I don't know why we need them, but whatever. got a successful life right now. And first of all, they didn't, that gimmick wasn't even successful. It so was. why bring it back? Like, it's not bringing back old, great memories. Nostalgia. <laughs> I mean, it's just, all right, whatever. There's but, no nostalgia. Uh, that's cool. That actually means, and I'm really hurt. This is not cool to me. What Sasha, bro, like I wish I needed. I, why did it? Well, at least they're giving her the Alexa Bliss treatment, I guess, because we don't. I don't know what the hell the injury's supposed to be. I know what it, it's supposed. I know where they claim it's at, and I know what I've heard. But mm-hmm. I would like to know if if a guy, girl, a girl like Sasha won't be at Mania, you know? Yeah. But okay. we'll see. It's just rumors right now, so we'll see where they go. But awesome. definitely cool, cool. And I guess that means Bailey will survive our triple threat scenario, if that's true. So. Mm-hmm. If that's Let's true. go. Also, um, Charlotte is slated to be facing um, Bianca Belair, or rumored to be facing Bianca Belair tonight on NXT. I let them do that for me. That's perfect. Let it happen. I t- from the moment I'm seeing Rhea Ripley, from the moment I saw Bianca Belair, I saw these matches happen. Now it may it may. Happened in a totally different way. I didn't see NXT getting their own show on TV. I didn't see. I thought maybe in the future when Bianca would get called up that this would happen, or when Rhea got called up that this would happen because the bot. It's just unbel- like come on, they're like the three people. You look at them. Those are the three girls that when you athletes. see them, yeah, exactly. You just like sp- like uh, exactly athletic. You know, just great right athletes like a tank. All of them, all three of them. So I would look. Hey, I'm down for any interaction any of them have with each other no matter the, no matter if it's real you know bianca that match was great uh saturday no sunday cause sunday. i'm used to it being on saturday but sunday that match was great and uh anytime uh charlotte is doing anything with either one of them i think it, it can be great so i will i want to see that i hope it happens cool and that's great for nxt ratings that's exactly why it's alleged that this is happening so it can get a pop in the ratings <clears throat> um, then we got JBL being rumored to be part of the 2020 Hall of Fame class. I personally always liked JBL, whether he was Bradshaw uh, from the APA or whether he was a uh, rich idiot. <laughs> oh man, don't even give me don't give me on that dis- description of <laughs> JBL the character, but yeah. Uh, I actually always liked his commentary, even when people thought it was bad. I laughed at it. Mm. I always thought, I don't know, maybe that makes me a douche for liking him. But hey, uh, personally, I can't speak for the stuff like that. The stuff he does, you know, like the the blue meanie and the 
whatever he supposedly did tomorrow and the backstage stuff. Can't speak to that. But, hey, that does show. I wouldn't be surprised. If you really believe here. what you believe about Vince or whatever, you know, are you really surprised? Just, just look at this Hall of Fame class. We got NWO. All of them. Batista. Well, not Dave. Dave actually was the opposite from what I heard most of his career. He kind of got. I mean, like played at, at that first, character. He got played bullied. that character. But yeah, a bully character kind of on television yeah. every now and then. Yeah, sure. <sighs> and then, well, not including the Bellas, because the Bellas are also rumored to be going in the Hall of Fame. But I've heard both sides of that that they were instigators, and I also heard that they were victims in a lot of stuff. So who knows? Who knows? But yeah, I see what you're going. I see where you're going. I kind of don't want them to be there, though. I kind of want it to go to somebody else. But thinking like with the theme of everything, not saying I don't want them to ever go into the Hall of Fame. But I just want it to be someone else right now. Yeah. Well, like, I can, can you come up with somebody? Because that's the problem I have. I mean, if we, I'm not if mad we, at it because I can't think of nobody else I I'll mean, throw I want, in there right now. I want now. to see Victoria in there. Oh, I've been, I've been saying it. I don't and know. I feel like with with the air, like she would fit. Um. Yeah, yeah but I I don't know where they. I don't know what they. I don't know how these classes are put together. It's a popularity thing, though. So uh, you gotta you gotta think about that. Like that's what I'm saying. We give way too much stock to something that's really just whoever the old man decides to call. That's really what it is. Yeah, that's true. And whoever will accept the honor. That's pretty much it. So yeah. we put way too much stock. I'm not saying that the wrestlers or people who sh- you know who work for the company like Mark Henry and some of these other people shouldn't love their rings and stuff. Of course, they mean something. But the point I'm saying is, as fans and who gets in every year. You know, it's, it's really not as important as we give it. It's not a committee voting on this. This is Vince. This is who Vince won in, you know. So, you got to think about it like that, too. What's next? So, next we've got, like. we got so, almost 10 minutes of rumor corner, so I'm going to try to shorten my answer. Yeah, shut up. Anyway, The Undertaker requested to work with AJ Styles at WrestleMania 36 because he feels that AJ Styles is... How can you get away with being mean to me? ...is the modern-day Shawn Michaels. Everybody know that. Who said it? Undertaker said it. Obviously. That's why he wants to face him at Mania. But this won't be the last match. So this is not like a retirement match by any means. Okay, so you basically just confirmed that he will be fighting Undertaker. Sure. Cool. Well, I ain't mad at it. Damn. We'll see. I think, like I said, AJ AJ will probably this match will be closer to Undertaker versus CM Punk than it was uh, to some of these late later matches. That's what I'm hoping for. It depends on what shape Taker's in, though. But I think AJ can definitely get a, he can get a good match out of anybody if you ask me. If they if they let AJ really be AJ and they give him time, and since it's Undertaker, we can guarantee 25 minutes at least probably. Right. Uh, depending on his health. Right. Also, um, he Undertaker might actually be retiring because this year's Survivor Series marks the 30-year anniversary, oh, anniversary of his debut. I know. November 22nd, baby. That's a special day. That's the day he started. Five years later, I was born. <laughs> Same day. And last but not least, so, um, yeah. WWE is also trying to set up a pay-per-view in the United Kingdom because that'll mark the 30th anniversary in 2022. Of um, when SummerSlam came yeah. to London. That, that, yeah, of course. The big show. Mm-hmm. Uh, British Bulldog Bret Hart. Yep. Definitely. 30 years. It's coming. Man, everybody need to get ready for this decade. that Because this decade, everything that was in the 90s is turning 30. You turn 30. That's I my point. Know. Everything that started in the 90s are, is about the Fresh Prince this year will turn 30. All Anything yep. that, that started in the 90s. So all us 90s babies, all these people who... Feel, still feel young when you talk about the 90s. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's changing this decade, people. I turned so, 30 this decade. Dang. Yeah, so just get ready. Uh, so but uh, Seven years. Let's see. Back, uh, no, I was about to say. Yeah, as far as Undertaker retiring goes, because I wanted to go back to this real fast. Uh, I hope people expected this to come. It's the same thing I was saying about New Japan with Tiger Tour. Speaking of that, he just retired. We'll talk about more of that. In tomorrow's show, hopefully, but uh, you know, great. They they honor their referees. I would like some Undertaker. You can't tell me he don't deserve a right. retirement show. I know. I know we don't do. I know WWE don't. Uh, American wrestling don't necessarily do a lot of the things that Japan do. But Undertaker? now that I'm following New Japan and starting Indeed. to see a lot of this stuff, I'm re- I really love the way they treat their past generation. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. And they kind of they just did a retirement show for a referee. Who spent 30 years in the business. Exactly. But I'm just saying, a ref. No, not 30 years. He said almost 50 years. 50 years. It is. He started in 1970. 50 years. Or at least that's the year they put on the screen. So, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. 50 years now. Because he started in 1970 on the dot, I think, doing this. So, that's my point. They, they're honoring their refs. And I know that's a long time. And I know, I'm not saying, you know, you, sh- you have to stick around that long. But you can't tell me Undertaker don't deserve. You can't tell me wrestlers who not already, pay, well, you know, retired didn't deserve it. You know? Right. But, you know, I understand we do things differently. The show always goes on as far as uh, Vince and WWE goes. But, yeah, I, it's something to think about. Is that all the rumors? That is all. All right, then. Well, press the button. Uh, I didn't get a chance. What? Oh. 